Hi, this is Andy Breitman. Welcome to the studio again. I have today we're going to talk about the importance of understanding the color wheel and why it's important. This year at the studio, we're really focusing on something called prismatic progression. One of the real tools that we have as an artist is eye movement, how we move the eye around the canvas. And one of the best tools we have is a gradual shift in color and value in a color shape. And so to that end, it's very important to lay your colors out so that you can get to them in the way you need to get to them. So that if I'm shifting a field of grass, say from a red and green to a blue green or a yellow green, I want to have those colors available to me so I can add just little bits of spice to the bath of color I'm mixing. And that's really important because we work out of little shifts in color that help us move from one color to the next rather than jumping from one color to the other and blending them together. We're going to mix them on the palette and put them on the canvas. And to that extent, I have my colors laid out. If not exactly around the color wheel, like these two colors are flipped, I could put this one here and this one here, because what we're doing as we go in this progression is we're taking red out of the color or we're adding yellow to the color, depending on how you look at it. So as you go from the burnt sienna to the uh, cad red, uh, as a red deep, and then from the as a red deep to the cad orange, we're just taking a little bit of yellow out of each color till we get, I mean, sorry, a little bit of red out of each color till we get to that pure yellow. Then we shift to, through our greens to our blues. So there's our actual order to this, and it allows me to, without having to think too much, reach over immediately to the color that I need because I've been doing it for so long. I tend to keep all my darker colors on this side because they've, a lot of times, making a shift prismatically from one color to another requires getting inside the color wheel to the dirty colors and getting the values the same. So then I can shift from a, let's say a green to a violet, which, which skips the blue. But if I can keep them at the same value by putting in the, the right amount of darkening agent, I'm able to make that shift visually very, in a very pleasing way. So this is the essence of prismatic progression. It's just explained to you and I'll demonstrate that to you uh, at another time. So thank you for watching.